This is C4 section 20, trapezium rule, on page 51 of the C4 notes booklet. As usual, this is a video and not a normal lesson, so you may at various stages need to pause to take notes. Right, trapezium rule is basically the same in C4 as it was in C2, except you're more likely to get three marks for it than the four marks you would have got in C2. You have a lot more functions that you know that you didn't know back in C2, which is why it has come up again. If the question uses trigonometric functions, then you need to use radians. But it should be clear from the x values. So, in this case, we have to use the trapezium rule with four strips to estimate the area under the curve of equation y equals sine x squared between the lines x equals 0 and x equals 1. So, we're doing trig functions, so we need to have our calculators in radians when we're calculating. So, straightforward, we've got the formula, we've got the values we're sticking in, make sure the calculator is in radians and calculate. So sine 0 squared is 0, sine 0 big 2 phi squared is 0.6, no sorry, 0 0.06. 2459318212345678 decimal places. The exam mill generally asks for five or six decimal places. And to nine decimal places, not for five is 0 0.2474039596. So 0 0.75 squared, 0 0.533302674. And finally, sine of 1 squared, 0 0.841470985. I said, these are not to nine decimal places, in the exam they'll give you the level of accuracy they want these to be rounded to. Now the trapezium rules in the formula booklet. So the integral of f of x between a and b is approximately equal to a half h, open bracket, y0 plus yn plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 it's yn minus 1 now technically the bracket between the, uh, around the y0 and yn isn't actually necessary but it is like that in the formula booklet now the h is the distance between the x values so in this case the h is 0 0.25 the y0 is the first y coordinate and y1, y2, y3, y4, and n would be 4 in this case for 4 strips. So stick them to the formula, half times 0.25, open bracket, first y plus last y, 0 plus 0.841, I'm going to put dot 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 rather than writing out the decimal each time, just to make clear which number I'm using, plus 2 times, open bracket, 0.06 dot 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 plus so y1 plus y2 all the mi missing ones so it's first plus last plus two times the rest added up so plus 0.247 dot 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 plus 0.533 dot 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 and we've got two brackets to close Stick that all into a calculator and calculate and we get our estimate for the trapezium rule. So a half times 0.25, open bracket, 0 plus 0.841, and when I go back to the table for the more precise answers, plus 2 times, open bracket, 0 0.0624 and so on, plus... 2 0.4, 0.247403 plus 0.5333 three, three, 
02674. Close all my brackets. And I'm going to give my answer to five decimal places. 0.31597.5. But again, the level of accuracy in your final answer will be given in the question. And this concludes the session.